ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਅਨਦਰ ਵੀਕਐਂਡ ਬਿਟ ਮੋਰ ਰਿਲੈਕਸਡ ਇਨ ਟਰਮਸ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਲੋਕਡਾਊਨ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਰ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਚਾਂਸ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਆਊਟ ਦ ਹਾਊਸਸ ਯੈਸ ਇਟਸ ਅਨਦਰ ਨੋਰਮਲ ਫੋਰ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਅਸ ਫਰਮ ਲਾਸਟ ਆਲਮੋਸਟ 3 ਮੰਥਸ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਨਿਊ ਵੇ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਫ ਬਟ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ देयर हैव बीन मेनी पेशेंट्स हु आर गेटिंग रिकवर्ड from this coronavirus at the same time um some of the lives also getting lost um if you look at the bigger picture if you look at the bigger ki kende hunde sige mahabharat da yuddh aaya mahabharat da yuddh ho gaya and uh, was a massive fight of mahabharata in india at the land of kurukshetra but there must be a reason behind it why maharaj actually did it while we had uh, shri krishna ji maharaj as one of the avatars already uh, in on the earth um during the time of uh, shri ramchandra ji you got the soul ramayan and the fight between ram ji and raman ji so there must be a reason why maharaj time to time do these kind of things maybe to make us learn something maybe to balance the overall nature mother nature only they know uh within this whole ecosystem our job is to keep learning keep going keep moving forward and like every week we touch one of the uh, topics to make us learn from gurbani to make us learn from what maharaj have given us in the form of the teaching to the principles of sikhi uh today another a uh, very um popular concept uh, at the same time very deep and uh, one of the most uh, i would say serious uh, concept uh, about the slandering we're going to be covering a bit on that uh in gurbani it says ki uh, slander is my friend and that's why the topic of this this is what the topic of the week um ki slander means nindak to um before we go deep into why maharaj is saying that slander is our friend we need to understand bit by bit what is slander what is not slander how maharaj have termed different types of slander slandering what impact it could have on us are there any positive uh, ways of doing slandering um and then finally pankti ave maharaj is saying ki slander is our is is my friend slander is is our friend so sasanga ji in terms of the definition is quite easy if you google it what is slandering um it's not a, a new concept it is being there since ages slander is is nothing but is essentially um slandering is to tell lies about something about a person about a group about about someone which is not the truth that's that's slandering for example if and it can be big to big or small to small anything um the purpose of um if you know the purpose behind the slandering if you know the actual truth then it becomes even more harmful to the one who is doing the slandering for example let's say if someone wants to uh um uh, defame someone or someone is ashamed of someone else's success or let's say a couple of friends in the school one friend is getting good marks in the school other one is not getting good marks uh and the, the one who's not getting good marks say might the he might start um doing um the slandering or saying lies about the friend about the classmate so it can be in any form in any way uh this ninde uh this nindya and the outcome of this nindya of this slandering could be anything could could be even as harmful as um someone's life um i'm not sure if you guys have um, seen uh, the new media news um in india i think a couple of days ago maybe a week ago uh one of the very well known actor he committed suicide um in the bollywood industry from the bollywood industry 
and the reason of his suicide was actually his slandering the 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 media is saying that one of the or some of the big people started defaming him started doing his slandering and started started making him look uh, look bad in the media took off many of his projects by just uh, speaking out lies about him and the result was he took his own life without any suicide note and most of the bollywood industry is uh, i mean is very shocked why it happened so it can so the resultant of the slandering could 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 be anything um but we need to be careful we are talking about slandering but then what what is not the slander to apa ye te kehta ki je kisi de bare jhoot bolya ya jaan bujh ke kisi ne nuksan pahunchaya then that's kind of ninda but then what is not ninda what is not ninda sat sangat ji very simple punjabi bhasha de vich sach ninda nahi hai ga if it's a truth it's not ninda if it's something which is happening in front of your eyes then it's not ninda bilkul ain punjabi bhasha de vich sach nu sach kehna ninda nahi hai ga on for example if a vegetable seller is or let's say in tesco you notice that you when you buying your shopping and you notice that cucumber is usually you can buy cucumber maybe 3 cucumber pieces or 1 pound and suddenly you see a jump in the price and now one cucumber is being coming out at 2 pounds you have got the right to ask at the till that why is so costly and you have got the right to actually mention this to other people look this uh, particular store is selling the cucumber for 2 pound you're not defaming anyone it's just the truth you are just providing this piece of information to someone however in the same situation if you start saying look 2 pound da hega ya and i've got my own store just around the corner je main lokan nu eh kehna shuru kar dewa na ki la eh 2 pound da vech rahe ya oh 4 pound da vech rahe ya main 2 da vech rahe ya then it's a slander in a very similar situation that's where we end up becoming the victim of us getting and getting slandering ki my store sells at 2 pound and the tesco around the corner sells at 4 pound which is not the truth this is where the and without us knowing we end up doing slandering it's a very 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 serious thing satsang ji and in next few minutes we'll get to know the how serious it could be as i mentioned earlier we in india we have just recently um so one of the biggest impacts of um the slandering with one of the very well known bollywood actors his name is sushant singh rajput uh, he is from um, guru maharaj ji sarti sri patna sahib patna sahab da rehn wala sega te othon de rehn wale de naal eda hoya if you get chance just do some google around his his news and you get to know what what was happening so what is not slandering maharaj di bani kehndi hai boli hai sach dharm jhoot na boli hai there are two things ya sach hai ya jhoot hai if he end up saying such there is no chut but if he end up saying chut yes we are killing the such so it's up to us to decide apna dharm hega sach bolna and the consequence ki hunda ya we should not be thinking about it bhai taru singh ne sach bolya khopad lat gaya bhai mani singh ne sach da saath ditta band band kat gaye it's not about the consequence it's about the principle it's literally now if we if we wearing turban if you keeping the dada these are about the principle guru nanak sahab maharaj ne principle ditta if bibiya apne case nahi katdiyan bibiya apna fashion wale passe nahi jaundiyan that's all about the principle but most of the lives most uh, most of us we put a barrier which principle we want to follow what or those principle we don't want to follow so when it comes to corruption when it comes to money making we forget about the principles we forget about the sikhi if it comes to pagdi ya meri sir da taaj ya main lokan ne dikhauna ya meri muchha ya then it's a principle because it's not impacting the maya because it's not impacting the property the bank balance the gaddiyan bachiyan de vyah then everything amritari bande ya and sara kuch hai ga ya pag bhi daada bhi jadon bachchi da vyah karna sharab di botlan khul janiya ya kirtan di stages te baith ke kirtan karna saaj bajaune ya ਬਟ ਜਦੋਂ ਵਿਆਹ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਦੈਨ ਸ਼ਰਾਬ ਦੀ ਬੋਤਲਾਂ ਖੁੱਲ ਜਾਣੀਆਂ ਮੀਟ ਚੱਲ ਪੈਣਾ ਆ ਸੋ ਵੇਅਰ ਆਰ ਦ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲਸ ਵੇਅਰ ਆਰ ਦੋਸ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲਸ ਦੈਨ ਸੋ ਵ
each individual is making their own definition of the religion their own definition of saram for them whatever level it suits to them they make that level as their thr- threshold and they don't go upward and they don't want to follow anything more than that some might stand upon the second stay a uh, step of the staircase some might go as high as a top but we are all making our own v- uh, versions of taram for ourselves so what is not nindya what is nindya saying something chut or lies about someone a group a person a commodity and uh, an article anything example you some of some of some person visited golden temple and they liked it a lot beautiful magnificent gold gold everywhere and now they visiting another uh, monument let's say taj mahal in agra in india and then they start comparing with each other and by comparing with each other they end up saying i mean namrita ri guy or anyone they end up saying oh taj mahal te na kuch bhi hai kuch bhi nahi hai ga oh the ha darbar sahab bahut sona hai mande hai si very good apa vadhai kari hai but we don't need to do nindya of anything else by the way if we don't know 22000 workers have lost their limbs lost their hands after making this taj mahal for the um, the mogul emperor because he didn't wanted to make to get any other taj mahal built in the future so he called all those workers all those mazdoor people and they got their hands chop, chopped off ki tusi aaj to bar inna sona kadi taj mahal nahi banaunge that's why taj mahal is one of the seven wonders in the world since beginning i'm not praising taj mahal i'm just giving example ki by praising something or by doing good thing by saying good things about someone we may end up doing nindya of something else which we shouldn't be doing so that's a difference between nindya and not nindya ithe ek sawal khada hunda hai there is one question here ki then what is the difference between a truth and nindya डिफरेंस की है ट्रूथ और निंदया के दोनों विच आपस में डिफरेंस की है गा या सा संगत जी निंदया इज इन इन निंदया इज बेसिकली अ रिजल्ट और लेट्स से निंदया इनसेप्टेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ आवर ओन स्टेट ऑफ माइंड व्हेन वी वोंट बी एबल टू सी समथिंग व्हिच इज नॉट फिटिंग एज़ पर आवर ओन विश और एज़ पर आवर ओन एक्सपेक्टेशन एज मेंशन अर्लियर two friends one is getting good marks other is getting not good marks the one is getting not getting good marks his perception is why this person is getting more marks than me why someone is getting more money than me why someone is getting more name more fame than myself why someone is getting a good wife than myself why someone is getting very good children or oh, the children are getting progress in life mbas lawyers doctors and my children not not doing anything all these things end up us ending up doing slandering or making our mind think that you know what we need to do something we need to do something because we know our failure because we know that we cannot progress further we what we can do is let's start bringing who is successful let bringing him down let bringing him down usually uh, birthday baba ji ek bari uh, we were sitting in um, i think in some meeting with some of the mahapurush uh in haridu uh, i think in haridwa in karnal so utthe ek uh, ek nindak di gal chal pali not nindak someone was doing who was doing prachar and he was doing a very cool prachar of guru granth sahib ji maharaj about dasam granth sahib maharaj and so on so on so bade baba ji ne ek babu gurbakh singh ji ne ek bahut badi example ditta i still remember and this is a example ki this is example how we can follow few things they said ki look ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਘਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਲੈਟ ਸੇ ਦ ਨਿੰਦ ਕੋ ਲੈਟ ਸੇ ਦ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰਕ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਨਿੰਦ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੇ ਮਾਈਟ ਬੀ ਅ 4 ਫੀਟ ਲੌਂਗ ਦੇ ਮਾਈਟ ਹੈਵ ਗੋਟ 40 ਫੀਟ ਲੌਂਗ ਹਾਊਸ ਔਰ ਲੈਟ ਸੇ ਹਾਈਟ ਦੇ ਹਾਈਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਹਾਊਸ ਮਾਈਟ ਬੀ 40 ਫੀਟ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਇਨ ਟਰਮਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਰਬਿਸ਼ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਸਪਰੈਡਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਦਮ ਲੁਕ ਡਾਊਨ ਲੈਟਸ ਲੈਟਸ ਬਿਲਡ ਅ ਹਾਊਸ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ 60 ਫੀਟ ਹਾਈ they will become small anyways asi apna prachar vada liye asi sach da prachar vada liye they will become down anyways the 40 is less than 60 feet house beautiful example so jadon koi nindya ko slandering ho rahi hai 
if we start if we not stop saying such if we not stop doing right come then definitely nindak apne aap chota ho jana hai karke nindak ko ninda karan wale topic ukko do tin nahi hai gaya apna kam sach wala chali jana chali jana chali jana and you go off you go unhe apne aap band ho jana hai so there is a difference between such and ninda saad sang ji ninda jinne karni hai ohde ohne kuch bhi change bhale bare nahi sochna hai andro anna maharaj di gurbani di pankti अंदरो अन्ना बहरो अन्ना कूड़ी कूड़ी गावे जेड़ा बंदा अंदरो भी ब्लाइंड है इन साइड माइंड जिने ब्लाइंड ही है कुछ चंगी गल देखनी भी नहीं हैगी जो बारो भी ब्लाइंड है जिदे एक्शन भी ब्लाइंड है जिनु को चंगा काम करना ही नहीं आउंदा जिने लोका दा नुकसान ही करना है जिने झूठ ही बोलना है जिने इन अखा नाल माड़ा देखना है जिने इन अखा नाल माड़ा देखण वाली विरति सोचनी है फेसबुक दे ऊपर you got live from darbar sahib and the same facebook is show must be showing some of the porn movies or some of those dirty content choices ours sat sang ji which one we want to opt for which one the dirty mind always want to go for the dirtiest possible content because andro ho anna bahar ho anna one bahar le bhi kam anne karne ha kisi da bhala nahi karna kisi di seva nahi karni ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਨੁਕਸਾਨ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਗਲਤ ਸਿਗਨੇਚਰ ਕਰਕੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਨੁਕਸਾਨ ਕਰਨੇ ਆ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੀ ਉਥਲ-ਪਥਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਆ ਏਵਰੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਕੀਪ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਸਮ ਸਮ ਹਾਊ ਲੈਟਸ ਮੇਕ ਦ ਡਿਸਟਰਕਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਟਸ ਮੇਕ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਟਿਵ ਕੂੜੀ ਕੂੜੀ ਗਾਵੇ ਕੱਲੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਗਾਉਣੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਝੂਠ ਦੇ ਹੋਣੇ ਆ ਇਸ ਮੀਨਸ ਕਿ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਦੇ ਡੂ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਦੇ ਸਪੀਕ just only con, uh, concludes of falseness or falsehoodness now this is where if you remember our history chandu shah we all have heard this name just few days ago guru arjan dev ji maharaj ji shahidi gurpurab left and guru um, um, sorry pai kulji singh ji they did a beautiful katha um, on guru arjan dev ji maharaj ji's uh, shahidi purab amazing katha and they shared some of the Uh, beautiful bachan uh, of mahapush also chandu ne chandu was a for those people who don't know who was chandu chandu was uh, one of the most wealthiest person in the court of jahangir and chandu was one of the accountants munshi in uh, jahangir's court now because he was wealthy and because he belonged to royal family it was but obvious for him to become very hankari very egoistic and because he belongs to the upper caste of hindu system hindu caste system um he he was i mean preached like he was he is a but superior in the society on the other hand there was a guru arjan dev ji maharaj and guru arjan dev ji maharaj had one son guru har gobind sahib maharaj one of the priest of chandu's own family he suggested look you got this upcoming sikh kaum who the who got this upcoming sikh बंदे आ बाहर निकल रहे हैं ते इना दे नाल दोस्ती करण दा एक तरीका हैगा या कि गुरु हरगोविंद साहब दा रिश्ता चंदू तो अपनी कुड़ी नाल कर दे अपनी ती नाल कर दे सो चंदू गेट योर सा गेट योर डॉटर मैरिड विद गुरु हरगोविंद साहिब एंड दिस फ्रेंडशिप विच बिकम बिटवीन मुगल्स और हिंदूज एंड सिख्स विल डेफिनेटली गोना बी बेनिफिशियल लेटर ऑन एंड चंदू विदाउट थिंकिंग दैट व्हाट ही इज अबाउट टू से he did nindya of guru maharaj and guru darbar what he did he said i don't want to say because i mean it's not that they were those were not the good words but just to give information that how he said he compared maharaji's house as a house of beggars he compared guru arjan dev ji maharaji's house with beggars he said guru har gobind sahib he compared guru har gobind sahib maharaj as one of the beggars in the house he said what so you are saying that i got my i got my daughter married with the house of beggars and he gave an example what example ki mori di it chubare nu nahi lai di hundi chubara means gumbad the tomb and mori means like you know jithe uh, in in the house is when you got some holes so you find some of the small pieces of brick or some stones and you fit in in, in the mori and then you just plaster it just like a diy stuff so chandu said this ki mori di it the mean 
कि ओ इट पूरी भी नहीं है इट्स नॉट अ फुल ब्रेक इट्स नॉट इवन अ फुल ब्रेक इट्स जस्ट अ पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेक एंड यू प्रीस्ट यू आर गिविंग मी सजेशन दैट आई यूज दिस दिस टाइनी पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेक एंड पुट इट इन माई थॉम्ब नो दैट कैन नव हैपन सो ही डिड निंदया Chandu ended up doing ninda of Guru Maharaj, Guru Darbar, and look what happened. Guru Maharaj's shahidi was the result of Chandu's ninda. I'm not going to go into detail because oh, apna sariya ne Guru Maharaj de shahidi purupte divan sunaya very recently. But the thing is, ki ninda can take you to anywhere. Now, <coughs> jay apna dusre paase dekhiye. is there any positive <coughs> form of nindya also so this was the most negative form of the nindya where maharaj themselves have to give shahidi and mara shahidi hui um uh, is nindya de karan karke is a very long story but is there any positive form of nindya also yes there is satsang ji some wise people who know and understand who understand the consequence of doing nindya they will not do nindya directly but they will very wisely get the thing out of someone's mind or someone's brain and end it up making it beautifully beneficial another example because then you can contrast between the uh, let's say the horrible consequence of doing nindya or getting nindya done and a beautiful consequence of uh, getting nindya done most of you have heard about akbar the great akbar was the third mogal emperor of india i think he ruled for more around 50 years in india akbar was actually the father of jahangir so jahangir was responsible for guru arjan dev ji maharaj ji shahidi the the sakhi which we just heard akbar was father of jahangir so before jahangir akbar was on the on the throne and he was very sensible guy he was i mean yes he all these emperors are sasang ji are uh, basically the hunger they, they they got the hunger for the power all they've got they got the greed of the power that's why they just keep killing people and keep getting the power in their control and obviously this slandering the we their actual their actual reasoning haga it's again the the power game if someone is not getting power if someone is not getting enough name and fame if someone is not getting what they want to desire then that kind of unfulfilled uh, dream or unfulfilled uh, expectation result so many times result into slandering akbar the great he was very sensible emperor he i think he became emperor at a very young age maybe in his 20s i don't remember the exact age but must be around 25 or 30 ish and he 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 started like the open darbar system in today in india we still have got a few politicians who do this open darbar system so akbar used to sit on the throne and anyone from his raj anyone from his kingdom are allowed to come and ask any random question and akbar was very popular to just donate the bounties to just donate the gifts i mean they, they, there's no limits what akbar can actually give into those kind of open darbar system one of the person called mahesh das this mahesh das uh, has the kind of urge to see akbar this mahesh das is decided to go and see akbar akbar the great the emperor this emperor used to sit at 20 25 30 feet height than the local kind of public so mahesh das is about to enter into the this uh, palace of akbar and there's a very long queue outside on the door what is happening that the uh, watchman at the door he is taking monies he is taking monies to allow those people inside to the akbar now when this mahesh das he is now we are talking about the positive side of the slander this is all this is all coming from the history sa sangha ji and one of the reasons why maharaj said slanderer is my friend is this reason that if we want we can use slandering to the positive side also so this mahesh das is witnessing that one by one people are giving some sort of ticket some sort of money to this watchman 
and this watchman is taking the money and then allowing people to go inside which he thought should not be the case because akbar the great have got this open policy so he thought that akbar might not be even aware of something like this is happening outside on the main door door front door of the palace so he thought okay if this is the case we need to do something he went when his turn he when his turn came he went onto the big palace door this doorkeeper or watchman came to him he said ticket price he said look i haven't got anything with me right now i haven't got anything however if you allow me to go inside then listen sir sangeet this is an amazing story amazing we, i was uh, i think i was in my year 3 when we heard when we read this story in one of the hindi textbooks i will i will tell you ki um, from where these stories come this mahesh das very intelligent guy didn't want to do any in there he said look i have got anything inside but i am going inside mere ko lone paisa nahi hai ga i cannot give you anything allow me to go inside and if i get anything from the emperor because this was a very big news ki whenever someone go inside if they ask from the emperor emperor was very very khulle dil wala he used to give lots of money the lots of gold and diamonds and anything what you can ask emperor used to give so he said allow me to go in whatever i can get i will share 50% with yourself and this doorkeeper become very happy he said wow you are the first man who is saying this to me and he allowed mahesh das go inside mahesh das when he reached to the akbar's darbar now akbar called one by one number 1 number 2 number 3 mahesh das came and akbar asked okay what's your name he said mahesh das okay what do you want an intelligence and positive side of lending sat sangha ji amazing mahesh das said akbar badshah you are very well known for one thing that whatever someone ask you give it to them so i have came in one wish in my mind and he said what he said i came here with one thing of course with jo sare loki leke aunde apne dimag ch main bhi ohi leke aaya but why while i was coming inside your door your watchman asked me that why i am going inside no ninde up until now no ninde no slandering and this mahesh das said ki akbar the great your watchman said ki what are you going to do inside and i said ki i going to ask something from the emperor and i promised your watchman that whatever i'll get i will share 50% with yourself koi nindya nahi hui hun tak akbar said okay what do you want he said i want i want 100 hunter beat from yourself you have to beat me 100 times and akbar said what he said what he said no i promised you watchman i promised you watchman that whatever i'll get from your court i will share with him akbar said why have you promised first of all why have you promised this secondly why are you asking this he said it's a very simple thing because i have promised uh, because when i was entering i noticed people were giving something to him at the doorstep no slandering sat sangat ji up until now no nindya is very clever guy and he said ki mere kol den vaste kuch hai ga nahi i do not have anything to give to the watchman he didn't said ki your watchman is taking money from the people your watchman is taking bribe from the people no he is taking everything on himself this mahesh das and he said i promise to give him 50% of what i will get from you so i have to take 100 beating of hunter from yourself i will share the 50 hunters with him and now akbar said okay call this watchman akbar was very clever he understood ki what actually is happening outside hale mahesh das ne koi nindya nahi kiti saath sangat ji akbar kehnda ki bulao watchman nu watchman nu bulaya odi 
Talashi, they started searching his clothes and lots of coins, lots of, you know, ornaments and stuff started coming out of his clothes. And this watchman got picked up. And watchman no hunta samajini ayaki hoya kiya. Watchman no pakadeya and watchman no, they started beating him with the hunter. With this leather big belt, they started beating him. And he got up, what is this happening to me, Akbar Badsha? I am doing watch keeping for yourself. Why are you doing this? He said, are you really? But you, this guy promised you that whatever he will ask, you have to share 50%. He asked 100, 100 beating of this hunter with leather, leather belt. So you have to share this. Akbar Nevi Huntakan mentioned nahi kita ki you are taking monies from people. However, it was well proved in the Darbar that there is something fishy going on. And then now Akbar said, Mahesh Das, we liked the way, the clever, the cleverness you shown without doing, without taking any pop on your head, without doing anything wrong with anyone, you have proved that something wrong is happening and you have made this kind of culprit in front of the, all the Darbar. We want to gift you something. Now Mahesh Das was very, very clever. Mahesh Das thought, if I ask anything, I can get anything from him anyways. I mean, because of the rule of Akbar the Great's Darbar. Anyone can ask anything. So, Akbar ne Mahesh Das nu kea, ask whatever you want to ask. Mahesh Das said, I don't want to ask anything. However, I can, I want to do something for your darbar. <laughs> Very cleverly, again, he said, I can tell, I can tell what is going on in any person in your darbar, I can read his mind. You pick up the person and I will tell, I will read his mind. And if that happen, then I will be your, I will be the most closest person of the emperor. And emperor said ki, e koi menu pandat te lagada nahi hai ga, menu koi spiritual banda te lagada nahi hai ga, just a normal Mahesh Das, like normal Hindu person. He said, very good, very good way of doing it. Then, hon osno baad Mahesh Das, emperor, uh, darbar de vich kisi no puchada ya. He asked someone, akbar da, akbar di, uh, team of let's say consultants and advisors one of the top most advisor I don't remember the name of the guy he Akbar said ki ok os bande de dimag che padke dasso ki chal da ya Mahesh Das Mahesh Das kenda ya ki Mahesh Das kenda tu soch do minute la ke soch random thought ni tu kuch soch and I will tell and now he's this guy is thinking, thinking, this other person is thinking and Mahesh Dash is trying to read the mind and Akbar is sitting on the throne. And uh, this guy, after let's say one or two minutes, he said, okay, I've thought, I've thought. And this Mahesh Das, again very cleverly, this guy was thinking, if this Mahesh Das get closer to the uh, emperor, I've gone, Mary team te gai. Mary team chali jayegi. So, I, whatever he will say, mein us to ulta bol dena ya. Because everyone was so scared, ki this Mahesh Das may have got any, any qualities, any spiritual qualities. Everyone was thinking, oh, now is the time, now is the time. And this, uh, this person, this fat person, he said, he thought ki jo bhi Mahesh Das mere vaste kahega, I will flip around. Mahesh Das said, Akbar the Great, your advisor, your top advisor, he's so great that he always, always, always think about one thing, which is what he thinks about your success. He thinks about how I can make my Badsha, my Akbar more greater, how I can make my Akbar more powerful, how I can make my Akbar more beautiful, how I can bring more wealth to my Akbar. And even now, this guy is thinking the same thing. Now, other person got stuck. He cannot lie. 
because if he lies he is going against the akbar badshah's wishes this mahesh das pinpointed andar guy said 100% he is he said 100% right main hi sochda paya ha ki how i can make my akbar more great 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 this is what i keep thinking all the time and that's how this mahesh das entered into akbar's court and this he was he became one of the most trustworthy person in akbar the great's court and his name name he got a new name after this incident when akbar asked ki bhi tera naam mahesh das hai ga ya par tu bahut apne dimag nu use tange tarike nal kita ya your name from today is birbal so these akbar and birbal they become very popular and in india i think every year from year 1 to year 5 we i mean in hindi kind of textbooks we we have read the stories of akbar birbal many times one of the stories of akbar birbal is this mahesh das to sat sangat ji positive way of using your mind but not slandering anyone not slandering a negative way chandu did it and shahidi happened positive way you can still get what you want but not doing anything harmful to anyone else that's how we can still do it i know i think we got short of time this is a bit deep topic and we got still lot of a uh, lot of things to go let's keep going up until uh, we got 2 3 minutes left is it okay to slander someone so we think we are talking about the slandering we we understood what is slander we understood what is not slander we understood the negative impact of slandering we understood the how we can change the slanderer or let's say the situation where you may end up doing slandering but not doing slandering but the question is as per gurbani is it okay to do slander gurbani says no simple simple answer ninda bhali kise ki nahi manmukh mugd karan kisi di vi nindya nahi karni whatever whoever they are biggest politician corruptest uh, politician aur koi badda superstar ya koi 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 banda jeho ja marzi hove maharaj ne kehta ninda bhali kise ki nahi bas itthe hi khad jaiye we haven't got any if we are going ahead to guru granth sahib ji maharaj we haven't got right, any right to do anyone's nindya simple why why question next should be why oh bhi jawab maharaj agge hi de rahe ne agge hi de rahe ne moh kale tena nindaka narke kor pavan kyunki nindaka de moh kale hunde ya je guru granth sahib maharaj da pehla bachan manna ya te dusra vi naal hi khade ya kyon ninda nahi karni je te moh kale karaune ya narka de vich pehna ya moh kale tena nindaka they face black and ona nindaka narke kor pavan ik hunda nark ik hunda kor nark ik te hell hunda ya ik super duper hell hunda ya some people might have heard about it o jehda super duper hell hai ga ude vich jana penda ya jehde ninda karde ya so if yeah if you want to fancy watching those super duper hell if you want to fancy getting our faces blackened then yes this is own choice but that's not something which gurbani says we should be doing so ninda pali kise ki nahi manmukh mugd karan kon karde ya jehde apne man di sunde ya jehde apne dimag di sunde ya guru di nahi sunde jo eh guru di nahi sunde murkh so karde ya jehde gurmukh ne jehde kisi guru nu mande ne oh nahi karde so i think sar sangh ji our time is over we have still got a uh, few things to go things like are we the only one ki kalle asi hunde ha who become victim that's not really true there are many 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 big people who have become victim then we have we have to discuss ki jehdi ninda hai gi hai that's actually beneficial for the victim then we need to also look at ki what happens to hale asi ko pankti padi ha ki ninda bhali kisa ki nahi but we need to go into detail ki what actually happens with the ninda and then it leads to slanderer is my friend ki maharaj ne isi karke jadon positive impact dekhte dekhte aap resultant te pahunchunge ki sab to changa kaam hai 
ਕਿ ਨਿੰਦਕ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣਾ ਦੋਸਤ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਰੱਖੋ ਸਲੈਂਡਰਰ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣਾ ਮਿੱਤਰ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਰੱਖੋ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਕਵਰ ਦ ਰੈਸਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਆਰ ਡਿਸਕਸ਼ਨ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਵੀਕ ਵਿਦ ਫੀਊ ਮੋਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਰੀਅਲ ਲਾਈਫ ਹਿਸਟਰੀਸ ਐਂਡ ਰੀਅਲ ਲਾਈਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਨਿੰਦਿਆ ਕਰਕੇ ਗਵਾਇਆ ਵੀ ਔਰ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਨਿੰਦਿਆ ਨਾ ਹੋਣ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਪਰ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਅਚੀਵ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ so for today if anything said wrongly i apologize for all from all of you uh, and this was not been uh, inclined to anyone else it is just message of gurbani ki we should not be going to extreme of making uh, of ma- or let's say harming someone i am not sure we all of all of us have, have must have done some slandering some time of the life but from now onwards because we now know the consequences we should not be doing it so in ni binti aap ji ne parwan karne ha we'll see you next time sareyano aap ji nu wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh